When we think about how we interact with computers on a daily basis, I don't want to make it seem like it's all doom and gloom because I'm a technologist. I'm super excited about the promise that computers have to change the world around us. And I think there's an incredibly positive uh, sense in which computers have really made the world a much better place and a much more interesting place for humans to live in. So this is a balance. We have to weigh the positive benefits that computers bring to our lives with some of the dangers that they pose to us and at least a consciousness of how they're changing us as people. But think about the types of things that you can do with computers today that just weren't possible uh, you know, a couple of decades ago, a lot of which are also the result of the internet. So, you know, uh, communicating with people that are far, far away. I mean, would we be able to keep up the same types of relationships with people that are halfway across the world if we didn't have email, if we didn't have Facebook? Um, would we be able to know as much about the world as we do now with the internet in terms of things that are going on in other places, uh, the ability to empathize, the ability to bring in information into our environment from an entirely new source and think you know, ab about it, find information about any topic which we can, if we choose to, potentially use to make better decisions. Um, but really just a sense of sort of opening us up to the reality of the world around us and to, to other things that are going on. Um, you know, and so, so, you know, some of these things, you know, these things are benefits. They are, po they are positive, um, you know, aspects of the way that, that computers can be used in our lives. And it's just up to us to try to make sure that those things stay positive. So looking at computers as a tool, looking at computers as a way to sort of extend some of our natural human capabilities. Humans have a desire to communicate with each other. The internet takes that to another level and allows us to communicate with a lot of other people. It also maybe allows us to communicate with people in those ways that are really hurtful or ugly that we don't want to, you know, that's the type of thing that we want to avoid. You know, the internet, uh, humans have this sort of desire for information. We like to know what's going on in the world around us. The internet takes this to this other level where uh, we can be exposed to information from all over the world and find out what's happening pretty much anywhere on Earth. On the other hand, we also live in a particular place in a particular context, and so we don't want to lose track of our own local environment. You know, we're not, we may be a citizen of the world, but we're also a citizen of a specific place. And the people that we react with on a daily basis, you know, uh, have a reality to them that people in cyberspace don't. And so, you know, this is just one of those things to think about when you think about, uh, you know, I think we all have stories about, you know, things that the internet and the computers have done for us. I have my favorite stories, I've probably told them before, um, but just really special things that we feel like we can do, uh, experiences that we've had that have been facilitated by technology. And I think in some ways technology can help us become a better version of ourselves and can help our species really sort of become a better, more connected, um, more empathetic uh, version of ourselves.